Hello, everyone. My name is Julian, and I'll be presenting one of the problems that you we're just doing in the sprint round. So this is one of the one of the late problems in the sprint round, and I found it to be pretty instructive. Um, you find you tend to find this kind of problem as you do more and more math contests, and I find that these kind of setups are really fun. So let's first read this problem. Faye and Beth are playing a game in which they each write each letter of their name on a square tile. Starting with Faye, they take turns taking a random tile from the other player. The winner is the first person to have both E's at the same time. What is the probability that Faye wins the game? Express your answer as a common fraction. So I'm first going to draw out what I understand from the problem. So we have these four tiles that Faye has at the beginning, and then Beth will have these four tiles. Now, I want to do a little bit of work to simplify this problem, to remove any of the unnecessary details so that it's clearer how I should go with the solution. And one thing I can simplify is by, no by noticing that there's nothing particularly special about any of these letters, except for the fact that they're all not the letter E. Because in this problem, the only thing I'm focusing on is is what is the tile with the letter E, because that's how you win the game. So what I can do is instead I can just forget these letters and I can just replace all of the letters that are not E with just an arbitrary placeholder. So I'm just going to make them X. So now each player starts with three X's and one E. And we need to find the probability that one player takes the E from the other player because that's when they win. So because Faye starts first, Faye already has at least a one fourth chance of winning the game on the first turn, which is just by taking Beth's E immediately. So I'm going to first let P be the probability that Faye wins. And I'm ultimately trying to find what P is. So I can first write P equals one fourth, which is the probability of winning on the first turn. And there's going to be plus whatever this probability is that Faye then wins on later turns. So if there's a one fourth chance that Faye does not, that Faye wins on the first turn, then there's a three fourths chance that the game will continue for a little bit longer. So Three-fourths is the probability that Faye chooses one of the other tiles. So in this case, Faye will choose an X from Beth's hand. And in this case, now it's Beth's turn. We still want to ensure that Faye can win. So we want to make sure that Beth does not choose the E from Faye's hand. So three-fourths is the probability that Faye chooses the X. And now we want to find the probability that Beth chooses an X. And there are four X's out of five possible tiles. So we're going to multiply that by four fifths. So once this has happened, this means that Beth, that Faye has chosen an X from Beth's hand, and Beth has now chosen an X from Faye's hand. And now the game looks like this again. This is just how we started. So now you can ask yourself, what happens now? What is the probability that at this point, Faye wins the game? And the really clever trick that it, they have to use here is to notice that this is exactly how the game started out. So the probability that Faye wins from now on is P, which is you know, the number that we started out with. So now we have this nice algebraic equation that has just one variable. And we can simplify this to solve for P. So P is equal to one fourth plus three fifths times P. So that means two fifths times P is equal to one fourth. And so P is five halves times one fourth or five over eight. And so five over eight is our final answer. Hey, this is Tim. Hope you're enjoying our videos. If so, you know what to do, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that sort of thing. But what I'd really want to invite you to do is to send us an email at media at mathleague.org. Tell us which problems you'd like to see us cover next in our video series. Take care and see you in the next video.